Warning, this video does contain constant stuttering, so viewer discretion is advised. Before the video starts, I just want to say that subtitles are available. So if I misspell or mispronounce a word, make sure you have subtitles, subtitles on just in case. Also, be sure to follow me on my socials, which will be linked in, this, in the description below. Thanks for listening and enjoy this video. Well, it's official. The long-awaited, unreleased Michael Jackson song, Get Your Way Off of Me, has been leaked. I never thought I'd live to see today, but here we are. For over a decade, this song has been the holy grail in Michael Jackson's lost catalog of unreleased music. Since its leak about a week ago, it has ignited a wave of opinions and emotions amongst fans and music critics alike. Many in the MJ community wonder how this song was revealed and its context. Welcome and welcome back to the channel. My name is A Horseman. In today's video, we will discuss the recent leak of Get Your Way Off of Me, its origin, the fandom's reaction, and how I almost ruined the chances of the song being leaked for everyone. Before we begin, I post video essays every other Monday and fan-made remixes and unreleased songs on Fridays. Be sure to click on the, on the subscribe button if you're new and ring the bell icon so, so you won't miss my latest videos. Also, a special shout out to the Applehead MJ for providing the information featured in this video. Without without the way, on to the video. <laughs> Get Your Way Off of Me is a song written and recorded by Michael Jackson in 1999, produced by Rodney Jerkins, who has worked with Jackson on his invisible album with additional vocals by LaShawn Daniels. The song depicts a problematic relationship with all, with all the pressure or known weight Michael needs to get off him. With a duration of 5 minutes and 17 seconds, Get Your Way Off of Me is, a, is one of the most talked about unreleased songs in the MJ community ever. As the first snippet was uploaded on Korgneck's SoundCloud under the track on, uh, under the track called King of Music Forever by Korgnex, more and more snippets started to, started to surface over the years. The song was meant not only for the Invincible album, but was talked about for the Ultimate Collection, Escape, Michael, and potentially as a single, but all dropped from the project due to being too weak and generic. As many people thought thought the song was, was his worst, those who have heard, heard of it um, said, uh, said it was pretty good but overhyped. For 13 years, between 2010 and 2023, Get Your Way Out For Me was, Michael, was Michael's fans' most wanted unreleased track. The first snippet was released in 2010, mul and, and multiple one to five second snippets have, have been leaking online ever since. However, the entire track remained lost as many, as many fake snippets were, were, were spread. There were only so few snippets to make remix, remixes and remakes of around their early years of, of, the, of the early 2010s. The track was attempted to be sold at an auction with a minimal bid of $100,000 in 2018, but no one bid it on, on the CD. The CD had, had a date on it saying March 31st, 2014, the same day Escape was announced. It was later sold at an auction in 2021 to a fan in the UK for 1,000 euros. On June 26, 2022, a seminar was held by Michael Prince and Brad Buxer at DX Studio in Cologne, Germany for, ma for making history with MJ. As unheard songs were being played like Adore You, Water, Michael's Affirmation, and, and the infamous Get Your Way Off of Me, off of me Michael Prince's wife specifically made an annou announcement asking for those for those attending to not record, record them as Michael Prince would, would be deeply hurt. In the early stages of Get Your Way Off of Me resur resurfacing, it, it was known that Korgneck would Korg Next was the only only one at the time with the song. However, a decade later, in July of 2022, verse one and the chorus from the same from the same June 26 seminar was being spread and then leaked by MJHQ. A year and a month later, in August 2023, around the fifth around the 15th to 21st, the song was traded on numerous places like eBay. User, and I'm and I'm gonna and I'm gonna butcher this name as well. Ado, Ado Max eventually leaked the song on August 22nd, 2023, after CDQ snippets were were posted the day, the day before. However, the leak was severely edited and cut short to 14 minutes and 18 seconds. The, issue, um, the high quality version is is in, is in circulation, but it's unknown who, but it's unknown who has it at the time. The seller reportedly has sped up the track added a fan-made intro not present to the original, and cut out the chorus. 
Some fans, however, managed to edit it and return it to its former state. Before the song leaked, three snippets from the Je June 26 seminar were posted by MJ Leaker. Unfortunately, due to the user named Diablohead MJ wrongfully sharing it to wrongfully sharing it with untrustable people. <coughs> me, <coughs> me. Um, for those who don't know, in June of this year, I made a community post saying that, according to an anonymous source, the song for "Get Your Way Off of Me" may be released for may be released or leaked very soon. Despite um, despite not releasing the source's name, a few people have figured out who the anonymous source was, and I have to backtrack my community post. So I single-handedly almost ruined the chances of the song ever being leaked. Even before then, people like Diablohead MJ and more would make fake snippets to troll the, the community and make them tired of the song. That is why the track's popularity died down, but I'll get to that in a minute. However, because because of the um, medium quality leak, people like JS Edits, the Apple had MJ, MM2, Edgar Smith, and more more are making more unique reconstructions with the Apple had MJ um, already posting a new a new remix on his channel. Also, I just found this out. Apparently, Get Your Way Off of Me has multiple versions. You have the first demo take from 1999, the one that the one that was leaked. The the 2004 remastered version that was meant for the Ultimate Collection, a different version with more kicks and snares, and an unknown writer's, writer's demo that is yet to be resurfaced. Now, a lot of people in the MJ community are making are making comparisons between privacy and Get Your Way Off of Me. Some are speculating that Get Your Way Off of Me is a demo to privacy, but 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 that's simply not the case. This is just this is just because although these these share some similarities within the song, especially ad libs and vocal med medleys, the song have different meanings. With get your out, which with get your way off of me talks about relationships, while privacy talks about things in the media and stuff that happens to him in the, in the tabloid, while also paying tribute to Princess Diana, a close friend of Michael's, who unfortunately died two days after his birthday in 1997 on, th on the 31st of August. Again, thank you to the Applehead MJ for this info. Several users expressed their love for the song, believing it, believing it lived up to hype, lived up to the ex expectations and wishing it would be, it, it would made it on, it would have made it onto one of Michael's albums, at, such as Invisible and Escape. However, not all reactions were overwhelmingly positive, as many fans found the song rep repetitive and felt that it's been overhyped. They believe that while the, while the song had potential, some changes could have been made to elevate its quality. The diversity of opinions here demonstrates that the fans' expectations can vary significantly, significantly especially regarding to the caliber of, of an artist like Michael Jackson. Personally, I think it's a great song. I like the raw, I like the raw vocals and the 2000s like instrumental instrumentals on the track. I was in several MJ group chats when this song was released, and no one in the chat was talking about the leak. Come to think of it, I haven't seen that many people in the MJ community talk about the leak on social media, either because of the fact that it's unknown knowledge to them or because they just stopped caring. And I might have a few theories to why this is the case. In the past few years, I've seen many fan-made recreations of Get Your Way Off of Me, all of which followed the similar theme of using the same leaked snippets that were already available back then. I even made a fan-made recreation myself in 2020, the only difference being that it was a mashup between privacy vocals and Get Your Way Off of Me instrumentals, way, way before they started making compar comparisons. I've also seen many recreations believed to be real leaks, but people would troll to make fake snippets and leaks, and because so few actual snippets would leak, they got tired of waiting and then fell out interest in that song. I was asked by one of my viewers, quote, if Get Your Way Out For Me was leaked the way Chicago 1945 or the MJ Studio leaked, would it, um, would it garner more attention than it did when it, was, when it was leaked last week? And the short answer is no. With songs like Chicago 1945 and Dream Away, the music was more was more talked about, more info was known, and and there was no si no snippets of the song resurfacing. But then, after, after the song appeared in a private seminar, the lyrics of Chicago leaked, then and then snippets of the music leaked, and the next thing you know, the full song w w um, w were leaked and uh, and was shared all over the internet. 
Then, when Lord Jackson stole Brad Sumber's laptop in January, the HQ, the high quality version of Chicago, was, was leaked. And if I'm being honest, what probably ruined the expectation of Get Your Way Off of Me was the quality we received, the, edit, the edits we received, and the recent seminar snippet situation. I do, I do believe if Michael or his estate released the song before, before the leaks, it would it would have it would have garnered more attention considering the estate's horrible job with handle, handling his music and recently selling his his catalog. Um, it will probably be released the same way Escape was. Um, how um, how it had two versions released as a remix and in this original mix. In conclusion, the unexpected leak of Michael Jackson's long-awaited unreleased song "Get Your Way Off of Me" has sparked a whirlwind of reactions within the MJ fan community and the wider music world. The journey of this song from, it, from its creation in 1999 to its eventual leak in 2023 is a testament to the enduring fasc fascination and passion of Michael Jackson fans. Hopefully a higher quality of the five minute version will resurface on the internet. Still, until then, we have several updated recreations of what the full version of Get Your Way Off of Me sounds like, including, including one by the, um, by the Applehead MJ, which I highly recommend you check it out. Well, folks, that's the end of today's video. I hope I hope I was able to inform you guys about the leak. Make sure you leave a like and subscribe if you're new. Comment your thoughts on the track. Do you love it? Do you hate it? And don't forget, and don't be shy to suggest topics you would like for me to, to discuss. Thanks for watching. I will see you all in the next one.